Hello traders and welcome in a new daily market analysis video. Today is the 8th of June 2022 and this video is brought to you by the market research team at Pio Prime. Basically we didn't have uh, much movement since yesterday. The markets are still moving in a sideways range. So let's have a quick look on the markets. Uh, do we have any opportunities to trade on the euro and the pound versus the US dollar as well as the economic agenda? Do we have any news that we should look for? This will be discussed in today's video. Please stay tuned. Starting off with the economic agenda, we can quickly see here that we had some um, negative uh, numbers, basically, or bearish numbers from the British economy. I'm talking about the construction PMI or the purchasing managers index. Uh, we had yesterday the composite and the services PMI. They were both uh, basically lower than the previous readings. However, they still were higher than the expectations. However, for the construction PMI, we missed the target uh, basically with, with a very slight margin. So the forecast was basically 56.6 and the numbers came out as 56.4, which is basically a little bit bearish on the pound versus uh, all of the currencies and of course the US dollar. We had the GDP for the uh, Eurozone basically for the uh, first quarter of 2022. And basically both numbers are showing that the um, Euro economy is basically uh, not expanding. However, they are uh, better than expectations. We are talking about the year over year uh, figure. It's showing as basically 5.4% higher than the forecast of 51 However, kindly note that the GDP, of course, should expand due to the inflation happening in the uh, Eurozone and all, all around the world as a whole. Looking forward, basically, we only have one um, number remaining today to look for, which is the crude oil inventories to be announced today. And basically, we don't really expect that this should be bearish by any means. We are having some higher demand from Asia and especially from China after, you know, uh, lifting all of the COVID-19 measures and lockdown again in China. So that was all for today's uh, economic agenda. Let's have a quick look on the technical analysis and the charts. Markets are a little bit in a sideways range and having a look on the dollar index, basically we can see here that yesterday we mentioned that the levels of 102.75 could be a good level to short the dollar index on the short term we had this brilliant downward move however we are still trading again to the upside by today's asian and european session however we do stick to our same technical analysis view as long as we are trading below 102.75 we are basically uh, shorting the dollar index we do have two targets number one target should be 102.20 and then off we go to 101.85 we do have some good trade opportunities on both the euro and the pound versus the US dollar. We can see on the euro, basically, this is a correction. And it seems to me that the correction is about to end just below the levels of the important resistance 1.0800. This sideways range, basically, with um, a declining momentum, which shows a bearish momentum, basically means that we are about to end the correction on the euro versus the dollar and to be more specifically we will be waiting for a break below 1.0627 to add to our short positions or to initiate our short positions on the euro the, the same exactly goes for the pound same correction roughly just below the 1.2640 and yes again we'll be waiting for a break below 1.2458 any lower low should basically be our entry uh, position for a short on the short and the medium term. Having a look on the gold trading, we are still basically um, trading above the key support that we mentioned, 1840. We mentioned yesterday that we will be having an upward move. The upward move basically extended to a high of 1853 or 1855 exactly. And uh, this is a correction. Again, we are still bullish on the dollar and the uh, on the gold trading. And yes, we will be targeting the levels of 1855 one more time. And then we'll be having our targets set around 1863. As for the US indices, nothing pretty much happened. We are still trading in the sideways range, waiting for this 
uh, to uh, or this consolidation basically to end to the upside. We are still having our targets on the US Dow Jones around 34,000 points and for the S&P just around the 4,300 points. Uh, this is our resistance levels that we should be targeting. So that was all for today's daily market analysis video. Thank you so much for watching and please stay safe.